Well, I think there are a number of things, but one of the most important things is that we are uh, a school that's not so big that we're impersonal. Uh, pupils are known as individuals and we're able to respond to their needs. And uh, our principal aim is to enable all of our pupils to fulfil their potential, whatever that potential may be. Uh, and I think that um, the, the size of the school enables us to do that. We're aiming to produce a rounded human being. We're aim aiming to produce a pupil who develops as a person, not as a statistic. And so we offer them a great deal uh, that goes well beyond the ordinary curriculum. So extracurricular activities, the opportunity to be involved in team games, the opportunity to have leadership roles, and all of these things together, as well as instilling a sense of personal responsibility and a sense of service through our many charitable activities, um, leads to uh, people leaving with a great deal of confidence, I think. Not arrogance, not cockiness, but a, um, a pleasant confidence that enables them to interact with other humans. I think if you go into any school, you very quickly get a feeling, especially if you've been in the game uh, for, a, for a reasonable amount of time, as to what the, the tone of the school is like. Um, and I would challenge anyone to walk around this school um, and not pick up the fact that it is a friendly, pleasant place where, where the um, pupils are, are very happy meeting new people and, and talking about their school, of which they are very proud. I think it is important. Um, I, I think we've got to be very careful about what we mean by tradition. I think there are core values, there are traditional values which most of our parents and pupils and staff would share. But there are, there's also the pageantry that goes with tradition, which, providing it's harmless, uh, pageantry uh, is very healthy and very good and so you know our beginning of term service in the cathedral our founders day prize giving the big occasions if you like do have a tradition um, which is I think attractive and interesting uh, but it doesn't it, it isn't stultifying it doesn't mean that we're not open to new ideas um, on the contrary and we've uh, invested hugely in ICT and all sorts of other things so we've in terms of uh, the the curriculum we're very happy to be innovative but but I think at the same time one has to be very conscious that we shouldn't be experimenting with children. They only get one chance at their education, uh, so we want to ensure that that chance isn't wasted. And so we don't just fly with the wind uh, in terms of innovation. We test things and look at them and we move forwards when we're convinced that this is the right way. Discipline, I think, is indissolubly linked with pastoral care. And the pastoral care here is ex of an extremely high standard, um, as our inspection report testifies, but you don't need the inspection report to see it. The reason the children here are happy is that they feel safe and secure and that they're looked after and, and known, as I said before. This means that they are able to, to interact uh, with each other and, and with adults because they feel safe. In order for the community to be happy and successful, a certain amount of discipline is required. I think it's important that young people know where the, the lines are and that they understand that there'll be consequences if they cross them. That, to me, uh, does not make for an unhappy school. On the contrary, it makes for a happy school for the majority. Uh, so uh, I think discipline is important, but not uh, in such a way that people feel repressed, as it were. The starting point in any academic school is the curriculum and obviously their intellectual development is central to what we do. But in order to give them all sorts of opportunities later on, we believe it's essential that they have experiences at the school that take them well beyond the curriculum. Um, so whether it's games, uh, uh, either netball or, or rugby, football, whatever it might be, or whether it's the choir, uh, the orchestra, the swing band, drama and countless other activities that we do. These all um, help to build a certain level of confidence in our pupils that they wouldn't otherwise possess. 
And we think that marks them out as being quite special and places them in a very strong position in the employment market because they have the results that you would expect uh, good kids to have from any good school, but they also bring these other experiences with them. In terms of league tables, I don't have a problem with league tables at all. I think um, accountability is reasonable. The trouble with league tables is that they are a very crude measure uh, and very often they tell you much more about a school's intake than about the teaching and the experiences that the pupils may have at the school. What I want as a parent, and I'm sure other parents do as well, is the knowledge that however clever my, my son or daughter may be, uh, they will get the best possible results that they can get for their ability. And for those who are less than high flying, uh, they still need to be able to get the very best results they can. And that's what we focus on. And that's why our central aim of fulfilling potential is most important. Yes, and we've been co-educational since 2001, and we've had a fully co-educational. We've had girls in the sixth form since 1976, so we know what we're doing in terms of teaching girls. And the girls do get tremendously good results, and they're also extremely happy here. You only need to talk to them. Um, so co-education in that sense has been a huge success at the school, uh, and it is something that not everyone is aware of, but uh, any visitor to the school quickly becomes aware of the fact that the girls are a, a very important part of what we do. I want any young adult leaving this school to be, as I said before, a rounded human being, to be uh, someone who understands the notion of service, someone who has the sort of self-esteem that comes from achievement, um, and someone who has uh, learnt to respect other people for who they are, not for what they've achieved. I think that's really important. We have a huge number of parents, actually, who make huge sacrifices in order to send their children here. And the reason they do it uh, is the sort of things we've been talking about, the attention, the additional attention they get compared with uh, that which they would receive at other schools. Um, our whole ethos, which is to do with um, educating the whole child and giving them opportunities that they might not otherwise encounter. Uh, and uh, the parents and I share the belief that those things give them advantage and place them in a very special position and give them, while they're not quantifiable, all sorts of skills that are going to be of real benefit to them when they leave school. It's probably the most important thing that they could give them at all, which is why they, do, they are prepared to make such sacrifices. Um, children only get one chance and uh, parents are well aware of that. And uh, they do without all sorts of things in order for that to happen. The sixth form here benefits from having its own building, um, which is very much their home. And that enables them to feel that it's different from the rest of the school uh, and that they begin to experience the sort of life, the sort of responsibility that's going to be necessary for them when they move to university, uh, which nearly all of them do. Uh, that said, it is also a part of the school. And I think that's very important. We're not a sixth form college and we don't want to be. We want um, the students in the sixth form to be role models for the rest of the school and giving uh, the rest of the school something to aspire to. Uh, our sixth formers therefore do still by and large get involved in extracurricular activities, they do take advantages of the breadth of opportunity that we have, but they are very conscious that what they really need is extremely good teaching that's likely to get them the very best results they're capable of so that they can get to university. Um, I do not see university as being the final aim of what we do, though, at all. Um, I, I think we, we almost take that as read. They work hard, we work hard, we get them to their universities, and the skills that they've acquired uh, in, in their sixth form years and the opportunities they've had to mentor other pupils, to, to uh, lead, to captain teams and all the rest of it, 
those things place them in a really strong position for applying for jobs after university, and that's what I want our sixth form to be able to do. We take people from more or less a, a 20 mile radius from the school and obviously parents consider it to be worth it. We, uh, we operate a, a bus system that enables uh, parents to, uh, to do that in a fairly painless way. But because we're offering something special, a lot of our pupils do come by bus from far and wide because it is a place that is different from other schools. We advertise our scholarships and bursaries on the school website and in all of the literature that people receive when they take an interest in the school uh, initially. And we are very proud of the social mix that the school has always had. And the governor's uh, bursary scheme in particular has enabled us, even in difficult times, uh, to maintain that social mix. We're not an exclusive or snobby school at all, despite our independence. And uh, I, I'm really pleased that we're able to, to keep that situation as it, as it always has been when we were simply the town grammar school.